the Civil War brought about a need for some advances um, in some of the weaponry that people that the army had been using. So they had been using guns that could fire one shot at a time. Then um, during the war, they realized that they needed to be able to fire more than once. So there were new. Um, I have I'm making sure I'm saying it right. The, there was a rifle put out by a guy named Christopher Spencer, and it could shoot seven bullets before you had to reload it. So as before, the musket, you shot a bullet, then you had to reload, and you shot a bullet, then you had to reload. Now the Spencer rifle, you could shoot seven times before you had to reload it. And then the Gatling gun came out, and the Gatling gun had six different barrels, and so it could shoot 250 bullets a minute. So... From the start of the war towards the end, there were some changes in the weaponry used so that they could shoot more bullets. Um, the telegraph also helped. So I think before, the only way they could talk to people, the communication, they couldn't pick up their cell phone, they couldn't send them an email, they couldn't get on Facebook, they didn't have any of that. So they would have to write letters or, and rely on the postal service. Well, that's not always the fastest during war. So now there was the telegraph. So they could send, if you're in the Union, they could send a message from Massachusetts to Pennsylvania, and it could get there, you know, within a matter of seconds or minutes instead of having to wait for somebody to travel. So it definitely helped. Um, hot air balloons were an advancement during this time. They were used, people would go up in the hot air balloons to spy on the opponent. Um, the Navy also had some advances. So if they were fighting um, in the in water, in the sea, then they would have been the Navy. And they had cannons that were used. They, you, they sunk ships using cannons. And then there were big um, rotating guns, and they could be used to shoot at enemy ships. The Civil War was also the first time that submarines were ever used. So the Confederates, the Confederacy, and the, they were the first submarine to ever sink an enemy ship. 